What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we are going to be having a look at those lovely looking product tabs right here. As you can see I've been using them in a way combined with an icon and you can do so as well and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fully customize that, install it and I have a few little extra tips so definitely stick around until the end and I'd say we just get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I added on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. It's a Shopify component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and the one we are going to be having a look at today is the product tabs free. We already have two other ones but this is our newest one. It's very refined and has a lot more customization options. The ones you can see right here. It has a one-time charge of nine dollars. That means if you bought it once you're also going to own it forever. Also you're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code that one for you and at the end of the day it's a big time and money saver because you still have all the customization options in the world. After successfully getting the section you have to head back to the my sections area of the app and add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Gator Full Store Life. And let's just open up my theme editor right here. So that is the one here. I already added the default version of the section right here. So just click on Add Section and type in Product Tabs. And it should pop up straight there. And that is the one I already installed in my store. This is the one you can see right here. And for this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can use it with meta tabs because I do think it's a way more dynamic way of actually using this section. So you don't have to type in all the content on every single one straight again. Just when you create the product, you can simply edit the meta field and then you have it. So here you can see, here we have the product description. So if I click on this one, we can see the product description. Here, of course, I want to write product description as well. Now, this is looking fine to me. And instead of add to cart, I would like to have a heart maybe. Because it does make a bit more sense in my opinion. And here on the FAQ item, I would like to use the material. And for this one, I do already have a meta field. I'm just going to show you really quick how I did this. So if you click on the answer block right here and on that thing, you can see those little options right here. And if I click on meta field, an extra image is going to open up. An extra field, sorry. And here you can directly add meta fields to your store. Then you have to name them. And then they're also getting assigned to your products. And in the next step, you can see if I do open up my product, this is this one right here. And I scroll down, I can already see here I already filled in some content here. I do have the material meta field and here I have delivery as well. That's the one I'm going to fill in in the next step. So you can directly do it on the product page. So let's head back there and actually fill it with content. So we're going to click on material right there. Save it up. And instead of add to cart, we're going to do a little plant because it's eco friendly, of course. And on the last one, let's check if it's working. Yeah, it does perfectly. We're going to do delivery time and here I would also like to pick the delivery meta field and here we're going to pick the truck because I do think it makes sense in that case. Okay, so as you can see right here, we do have the material here with the little plant icon and we already have the delivery which usually takes one to two days. And now the last thing I would like to do after we filled it with content is to drag it up a little bit so the scrolling works accordingly and I want to click on the main block itself. We can save a lot of space and also here we can do some paddings and whatever you prefer. Actually, I'm not going to get into detail too much. I just want you to play around a little bit yourself. You can also change the size of the whole thing right here. One thing I didn't show you yet is that it is working perfectly fine on mobile as well. I do think it's a big saver in space. So if I click on those, this is also looking really nice and here we can do the close tab when opening a new one. I think this is quite cool as well. So if one is opened, the other one closes up. Let's just save it up real quick. Otherwise, it is sometimes a bit likely that in the editor it does some weird stuff. But as soon as you open it up in the live version, it's going to do exactly what it's supposed to do. So don't worry about that. And yeah, here's just a few other things we can change like 
font, the arrow size, and whatever you name it actually. And also all the colors are changeable too, but I'll leave that one up to you actually. And I just want to have a final look in the live version edit. Our little section right here, as you can see, we made the icons a little bit smaller. And this is working perfectly fine. And if I open up another one, this one will close. That's one functionality we implemented. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found that useful. And also that little tip with the metaphils I gave you there. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section or check out other videos we already did on it because we do have two on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a nice day and peace out.